Hello, my name is Barbara Carr and I want to talk to you a moment today about our pre-summit course, Evidence Collection and Interviewing Techniques to Sharpen Investigation Skills. So let's take a look at the agenda for this course. This course is ideal for a newer investigator to the taproot process because it teaches the investigator how to collect better evidence for their sequence of events. And when you're taproot trained, you know that you spend 70 to 80 percent of your time collecting evidence because if you don't have all the evidence up on your snap chart, then you are probably basing your investigation upon your own bias. You have to have evidence that proves every fact of your investigation. So it's a great course for someone newer to the taproot process. They'll learn how to put more blue up on the snap chart. And if you're taproot trained, you know that blue uh, means the condition on the snap chart. We indicate those with a blue post-it note. And that's where we um, put up the evidence that we find. We put those up as conditions. So let's take a look at the agenda. Day one, first we talk about pre-planning. Pre-planning is really important to align your um, self with better investigations because if your investigation policy is uh, ready and updated, if you know who your contacts are, if you have some investigation kits prepared and many other things, then it's just going to go a lot more smoothly. And from pre-planning, we talk about scene management and you may or may not be involved in your um, scene management scene management at your facility, but it's important to know some of the concepts of scene management, how um, first responders might affect the scene, what the priorities should be. From there we go to talking about the snap chart and just reviewing that with the course attendees because again this is the foundation of your investigation. Snap chart is very important to uh, spend some time on and understand after that, we get into evidence collection. So we'll view a video um, of an incident and then the attendees will go to their snap chart and they'll decide what types of recordings evidence they'll collect or what types of physical evidence they'll collect and what types of paper evidence they'll collect and what order they should be collecting evidence and what types of evidence they should be looking for. After that, we'll end the day with change analysis, which is just another technique for uh, collecting more information for the snap chart. Then we'll go to day two. We're going to talk all about people evidence on day two. So we'll talk about different types of people evidence that um, you could collect. And then we'll talk about the importance of observation skills and how humans are often not good at observing things. And from there, we'll go to this step, the 12 step interview process. This is Taproot's process. Um, it's developed and based on some great research so that you can, as an investigator, become a better interviewer. You can collect better quality and quantity of information. And after we learn how to conduct a Taproot 12 step interview, we will do some mock interviews. So the students will have a chance to be both an interviewer and an interviewee and give feedback uh, to one another on their new interview skills. We end the day with a really fun session decoding nonverbals and everyone loves this session because I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a great life skill to be able to understand or what people are not saying to be able to um, have a little bit more insight about a person's body language and what that means especially in an interview situation so um, that's the agenda for the two-day course that's the pre-summit course and I hope that you will decide to join us if you have any other questions please don't hesitate to contact me again my name is Barbara Carr and you can email me at car, C-A-R-R, -R, at taproot.com. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.